Hi guys, Stephen Fennick from Tech Guide here. Today we're going to be talking about folding phones. That's right, they're going to be a thing this year. 2019, we're going to break out of the normal smartphone design and folding phones are going to be introduced. We've already seen some at the Consumer Electronics Show and other brands this year will also follow up with their own folding smartphones as well. We saw the world's first folding smartphone at the Consumer Electronics Show recently. It was by a company called Royale, and it was called the Flex Pi. Now this had a, a folding, folding form factor and folded outward. I, I, when I first saw it, I, I compared it to uh, anyone who's a Seinfeld fan, I compared it to George Costanza's wallet. It just looked like a big fat wallet with the screen on the outside of the device so that you you hold it in your hand and there's a screen facing the user and then it folds to the back then when you want to enjoy the larger screen you actually fold it out and you, you I think it's a 7.3 inch screen that you could use it had a, a special AMOLED screen of course and gave the user either a smaller screen for calls and messages but then opened up to a larger screen to enjoy your content on a, on a grander scale, as well as doing things like multitasking. This is a device that it is, it is a bit clunky, it is a bit chunky, and I, I'm not sure the appeal it will have to a wider audience. But other companies are going to also be introducing their own folding phones this year. Samsung being one of them. A few months ago, they announced their Infinity Flex display which is going to be the technology behind their own folding phone later in 2019. The, the, the idea for their device is to have a screen on the front of the product, so for your everyday tasks like messaging, calling, but then that it opens out, so it folds open like a book, so it gives you a larger screen to view your content, your movies, your games, to multitask on the go as well. Of course, it's running Android, and Android is being optimized for that as well. We're not going to see that, I don't think, till the second half of 2019, but Samsung's been the leader in the smartphone market, so it's going to be something pretty special. They've developed this Infinity Flex technology, this AMOLED display with a bendable screen. There's no, there's no crack in the middle of the screen, so it looks like one open tablet. The other company that has uh, already displayed or previewed a folding phone is Xiaomi, the Chinese company. They recently released some video, some footage of a, of a folding device, but it folded in a different way to any of the other devices that we've seen so far this year. It folded backwards, so you could, you could hold the phone in your hand and the screen would then fold back onto itself uh, and then reduce the size of the screen in front. Then when you want the bigger screen, you unfold it uh, so that you can have the larger display for, for viewing your movies and TV shows or whatever you happen to do, want to do on that larger screen. So that's, that's three different examples we've spoken about already that have th different folding styles. So it's a little bit like the a bit like origami. You can fold it any way you want. So each each brand is going to have their own folding style. I've even heard of Motorola bringing uh, possibly bringing out a folding phone. So cast your mind back a few years to the Razer phone. This was a flip phone. So take that form factor and put a screen running the entire length of the inside of the product. So it would open up like a flip phone and you would have a screen running down the entire length of the device. That's, that's another idea on the folding form factor as well. But I think the big question is, what is Apple going to do? I don't think we're gonna see a folding phone from Apple this year. But Apple in the past have a habit of not being the first to market with a device, but coming to market with probably the best iteration of that device. Cast your mind back to the iPod. The iPod wasn't the first MP3 player in the market, but Apple came along and they waved their magic wand over this product and produced the iPod. So I'm pretty sure that Apple will come up with something special. But another part of me thinks that, will Apple even produce a folding device at all? You think about it. Apple make huge amounts of money selling iPhones. They also make huge amounts of money selling iPads. 
So having a device that could be both a smartphone and a tablet, well, Apple could create a product that would cannibalize each of the product lines. So if you buy the Apple folding device, there's no need to buy a, a tablet. So it's one product that can cover both your iPhone needs and your iPad needs. So whether they come up with a device anytime in the near future, if at all, is something we're gonna to have to wait and see. But I'm pretty sure if Apple did come up with a folding device, it will be really something special. Well, we've already had a taste of what we can expect in 2019 when it comes to the first wave of folding smartphones. And it, it's been more than a decade since the current smartphone form factor was introduced. That's a long time. So I think we are due for a change. But this first wave uh, won't probably represent the best that this device can be. It's the first wave for a reason. It's their first attempt at making devices like this. So companies, this is their first go at that. We don't know how well they're going to perform. We don't know how well they're gonna sell. But what's the future? I've got a little prediction in mind here. I think the future of these folding expandable devices, the, the inspiration for that won't come from another phone. The inspiration will come from a television. LG introduced the OLED RTV this year. This was a television that's housed in a cabinet and that rolls up out of the box to its full size. OLED, uh, one of the characteristics of OLED is the fact that it's bendable, as is the AMOLED screens on a smartphone. Here's what I would do. This to me would be the ideal phone and tablet in one. And it takes its inspiration from LG's OLED R. This is the rollable TV, remember? OLED is a bendable, bendable form factor. So imagine the AMOLED on a, on a smartphone or a tablet being used in a similar way. What you need to do though, is turn the whole thing onto its side. So imagine in the future, we have the technology that's being shown with the OLED R and use that in a smaller version, a smaller form to create a, a phone and a tablet in one. Here's how I think it should work. So your device would be like a, a block. So a long block, probably a, a, few, a few inches long. And the screen could roll out of the side so you might want to only have a phone. So the screen would roll out that far and you can then make your calls, do whatever you want. But then if you wanted a larger display, this device could then, you could take the screen and make it wider. So imagine you can pull more of the screen out of this, out of the block and have a screen that could be up to 10 inches if you want. This technology exists today. LG showed it with the OLED R. So this is exciting technology. The TV is gonna be released later in the year, in the second half of 2019. But imagine shrinking that down and giving you the ability to like having a scroll. You pull out, pull out the portion you need for your phone needs and then pull out even more for your tablet needs. So there you have it, folding phones. They are coming to market in 2019. What do you think about this? Would you buy a folding phone? Do we even need a folding phone? Are you, a, are you the sort of person who wishes they could have a bigger screen on their existing device? Folding phones are trying to meet that need. So you can have a small screen experience and a larger screen experience in the same device. We are gonna see it this year. Are you a fan? Will you buy it? Leave a message in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well for our further videos.